Yes, I can confirm that the Kenyan government took over these rare earth sites. But we did it lawfully, only after our friends from Dig Deep Mining Corporation failed to comply with our environmental standards. They also don't keep up with the fair royalty rates we had agreed on. Let this be a reminder that our ambitions go higher than being merely a resource provider. These times are over. El volumen de agua necesario para las actividades de minería ha hecho que en Chile las actividades mineras se han visto limitadas por culpa de la actual sequía. Mereka menghancurkan ekosistem kami, mata pencaharian kami, dan rumah kami. Untuk apa? Untuk mencuri sumber daya kami dan menggunakannya untuk membuat mobil di suatu tempat? It's no secret how exactly rare earth metals are refined. The kind of things getting into the environment. They had it coming, I'm telling you. How much would you be willing to bet on something as risky as those mines? 5% of your investment portfolio? Maybe 10? Then get this, they don't even know themselves how many of their investments are at risk of climate change. Because do you think they bothered with climate risk assessments? Give me a break. So all it took was just a little push. The fund has shares in a mine. The mine stops working because of fires. The fund goes bust, and then there's the bank that had shares in the fund, and the insurer. It's like a goddamn domino is what it is. Tick tock, tick tock. Before you know it, bam. Game's over.